Hello. Yep, this is me on the internet. For those of you still watching, first, cheers. And second, if you know what the episode title means, then you probably already put on your headphones. Everyone else, put on your headphones. So if you don't know what binaural audio is, you're listening to it right now and it gives a greater sense of realism than a standard stereo recording when listened through headphones. The way that this is achieved is usually through using two microphones and placing something between them to simulate a head. Usually it's a head. I'd like to demonstrate the full effect of this to you but I... Uh, What's up? What you doing? Yeah, I'm trying to show off the... Guys, what's going on? I need a way to demonstrate binaural audio. Any ideas? Hmm. Not sure, really. The bag on his head. Stop that. <laughs> just going Dead. out whispering in people's ears. It's weird. What did he say? I think he said use the bag. Aye, use that. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. One bag. Over the head. You okay in there? Is it working? The only reason I did that is because all the fancy videos do it. I've been recording binaural audio for a number of years, using it to capture the atmosphere of places I've photographed. Enhance transitions between songs, create intros, and even new instruments. The mics I've used in the past are the Soundman OKM2, and they're very good, but you can get some cable noise when moving around, and of course, you have to use a head. But now I've got this, the 3D IO FreeSpace Pro, giving me the freedom to record in new ways, and it's what I'm using right now. You may have noticed that it's not very head shaped. The explanation on the website states that what's present on the device will record as accurately as any other method. And I tend to agree with that. When recording with in-ear mics and listening back, on in-ear headphones, even with the same head, there is still a problem. You see, as good as binaural recording is, sounds from the front are not anywhere near as convincing as those from the sides or the back. This is why even the best binaural demonstrations use scenarios that concentrate on those directions. The way your ears receive and transmit sound is pretty complex. And your brain is clearly not easily fooled into believing all of the recorded information that it's receiving. So if we can't record accurate binaural audio, perhaps we can generate it. Enter the Oculus Rift. It's a virtual reality headset which creates an immersive experience by tricking the brain into believing you're in a real 3D environment. The hardware focus is on the visual side where it achieves true stereoscopy by displaying different images to each eye and responding to the user's head movements and rotation. 
Software-wise, though, there is a huge amount of development going on to complete the overall experience. The company's own best practices design document states that sound is arguably as important to immersion as vision and urges developers to use head-related transfer functions, which is just a technical way of saying simulate the player's head between the ears. Some great work has been done in this field in the past, but like binaural recording, has never been able to completely convince you that you're there. Perhaps the inevitable push from VR will change that. The Oculus Rift is still in development, but based on the experiences of those who've tried it, even the prototype versions work very well. Ah! I could ramble on for ages here, but this is getting off topic and probably wouldn't be interesting to a lot of people. Suffice to say, if you're interested in binaural audio or just sound innovation in general, keep an ear in this direction. There's a range of binaural sounds included in the download for this episode, and as always, they're distributed with a Creative Commons license, so feel free to make use of them. Adding effects can work, but they will interfere with the subtle differences in the stereo field that trick your brain, lessening the binaural effect. You should also be aware of the perceived volume discrepancy between speakers and headphones. This happens normally. I'm sure you've listened to songs on headphones and heard things you didn't notice before, but with binaural audio this is much more pronounced. And as you can tell, it's particularly bad for sounds with a sharp attack, especially if recorded right next to the ear. In this case, your brain isn't just being tricked in an auditory fashion, it has a psychological effect that something potentially dangerous is happening right next to your head. So if used as a percussion instrument that plays all the way through a song, it quickly fatigues the listener and eventually results in a headache. This is exactly what happened to one of my songs, even after filtering and EQing to dampen it. I'm not saying these types of sounds can't be used, you just need to be very careful about how they're integrated into the music. That went pretty well, thanks guys. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.